For those of you who have been to a game industry networking event, you may know that it's basically a room full of people, maybe strangers, all in their own groups, their own circles, talking to one another. And when you're entering the room for the first time, it can be terrifying to not know anybody and to not know what to do, essentially. It can be very intimidating to just be in a room full of strangers and not know how to engage with them. And the tendency is to sit on the sidelines and not do anything, right? I've done it thousands of times. And as an extreme introvert, I have some issues sometimes with dealing with that. I still get tiny bits of fear when I walk into a room of people I don't really know. But through training, I'm kind of slowly getting over that. But one thing that's helped me an awful lot when it comes to engaging with people in groups that I may not know is inverting that feeling of awkwardness. So let me go into that a little bit. Many of us, when we go into a room full of people and we want to enter any group, it's all too tempting to kind of wait by the sidelines and hope that someone will kind of notice us or welcome us in as we kind of stand there really, really silently. And that's happened to all of us. We've all dealt with that. And there's a way around it. And this isn't necessarily a tactic, but a bit of a mindset shift. So the tendency is when we're kind of standing on the sidelines waiting for someone to welcome us in, we tend to think things like, oh God, this is so awkward. Oh, I'm so bad at this. All those negative thoughts tend to come up as we kind of sit there placidly. But there's a technique called inversion that comes from the billionaire Charlie Munger, who just basically says to take things and invert them, put them on its head, make it the opposite. So what has helped me an awful lot when it comes to engaging with strangers, total groups, totally new groups, et cetera, et cetera, is to invert that feeling of awkwardness. So what I do instead in my head is to basically challenge myself to be more awkward. So essentially I'm saying things like, you could be more awkward than this. No, 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 this isn't good enough. You can be way more awkward than this. You, you, no, 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 this is still not good enough. I say things like that to myself, kind of in a joking way. And as weird as this sounds, it actually kind of breaks me out of that fear of being rejected by a group of people, which honestly will probably never happen. But we still have those fears coming up. And playing with this and making this kind of a funny game by inverting those feelings can go a really, really long way into making it just so much easier for you to just start talking instead of waiting, hoping for someone to welcome you in, etc. Because simply put, at these networking events, you're there to network. So it's not a group of people who will not welcome you in. It's meant to be a group of people who are supposed to welcome you in and supposed to allow you to talk to them. That's generally how it goes. And in the game industry, people are pretty laid back. So it works out really well. So whenever you're feeling that kind of dread or that feeling of awkwardness with entering groups and talking to new people, invert that feeling and kind of make a game of it. As silly as it sounds, it can go a really long way to helping you get over any mental blocks you may have about talking to strangers and making great connections.